Welcome back friends. In this video we shall go to discuss about the types of hybridization. As in the previous video we discussed the an introduction to hybridization and the rules or principles considered in hybridization. So as I said that hybridization in hybridization only the outermost orbitals of the outermost shell they can be hybridized. So assuming that this is our s orbital and this is our p orbital and this is our d orbital this is our d orbital so s orbital has one orbital this has three orbital and this has five orbital so in hybridization it depends on how many hybridized orbital we require in forming a certain molecule so we hybridize the orbitals required and it's not necessary to hybridize all of the valence shell orbitals so some of them they can remain unhybridized so if you take one s orbital and one p orbital it it is called sp hybridization if you take one s and then you get two p orbitals it is called sp2 hybridization if you take one s and then you hybridize with 3p orbitals, it is called sp3 hybridization. So we have sp, sp2, sp3. Then if we, we are finishing with p, you take 1s, you are taking 3p, and then you are taking 1d. So it's sp3, then d hybridization. So for example here, if you need to hybridize the orbit, you form sp if you need three you reform sp2 if you need four then you form sp3 if you need five it will be sp3 d if you need six it is sp3 d2 here you will get six hybridized orbitals so the superscript in the identification of hybridization show the number of orbitals in a particular energy sublevel which are used for mixing up in hybridization. So, for example, here in sp3d2, imply s orbital, 3p orbital, and 2d orbital were used in hybridization. So, here, for example, in 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 our discussion today, we will start with sp hybridization, sp hybridization, and. As you can see, the example provided here on the SP hybridization. So, in any type of hybridization that we shall discuss, you must know that first we have electrons in this is the innermost electron and this is the outermost electron because this is the second second shell. So, SP is formed when one s orbital is mixed with one p orbital to give two sp hybrid orbitals example consider the formation of beryllium chloride so in the formation of beryllium chloride consider the electronic formation of beryllium as you can see here beryllium has four electrons so we'll have one s with two electrons and then 2s with two electrons but for the case of this for the case of this is that for this choline two choline to join here we have only full full orbital in the outermost electron so we need two we need two half feed electrons so first we excite electrons. Here we are saying it is at ground state. At ground state. Then we make the excitation of electron to excited state. So in the excited state, what will happen is that it will appear like this. Then here we shall have one electron. Another electron will be excited to the higher energy levels. So this is 2s, 1s, this is 2p. Then this will be excited state. 
So after this excitation, then we want to mix these orbitals, the S and P orbital, so as to get two half field orbitals. So it will appear as then here it will appear as and here it will appear as so these two they are unhybridized hybridized P orbitals. These two orbitals they are sp hybridized. And then here the two electrons they are unhybridized. So one chlorine will provide electron here, another chlorine will provide electron here to form the beryllium chloride. So this is sp2 hybridization and it is how the beryllium chloride is formed. So the angle between the orbitals here in sp2 hybridization for example we can draw beryllium then chloride another chloride the angle between the orbitals here is 108 180 degrees so in sp hybridization shape of the molecule appear as straight because the angle is straight and the angle is 180 shape of the molecule appears straight or sometimes called is linear now let's jump to the next type of hybridization. Let's jump to the next type of hybridization, which is sp2 now. So sp2 is formed when one s orbital is mixed with two p orbitals to give three sp2 hybridized orbitals. Now consider the formation of a, formation of boron fluoride. So, as we know, the electronic configuration of pollen is 1s2, 2s2, and then 2p. So, this is 1s, 2s, 2p, ground state. In excited state, 1s will appear th like that, 2s will appear like that, and then this is 2p, 2s, excited state, excited state. Ko electron ili kwa hapa, tume imejampu kwenda kwenye ubito ili pale. Halafto kapo kwenye hybridized state, manaki tunaitaji 3 hybridized orbitals. Ko tuta hybridize hizo tatu, then yu mmoja tabakia ni unhybridized. So hizi hapa zita kwenye sp2 hybridized orbit ambapo hapa tako na fluorine moja mikuja kwa fluorine moja hapa fluorine moja kwa ziki kazi na tengeneza pea linya sp2 hybridized orbit kwa hiyo hiyo ndo kwa ufupi hicho ndicho mbacho nezo kakiona kwenye kwenye sp2 lakini hapo sasa Hapo sasa kwenye shape, sp2 siyo tena linea moleki. sp2 yenyewe huwa ina, ina tengeneza kitu na hita trigonal planner. Trigonal planner. E, Sitaza kuchola shape zote hapa lakini huwa ina kwenye kama beryllium, then fluoride, fluoride, fluoride. Kwa inakuwa kama hivi yu trigonal plana ina kwenye onekana kama hivyo lakini shape nzuli zaidi tuenda kuziona uko mbele au kwenye notes ambazi kwa kwenye telegram group lakini tukitoka hapo hapa bondi yengu ina kwa ni mia ishilini so the yengu hapa ina kwa ni mia ishilini kwa ukule likuwa mia themanini uku bondi yengu mizidi kupungue mikuwa mia ishilini lakini Tukienda kwenye sp3, sp3, wanaka bitu natengeneza 4 hybridized obito, 1s in a mix with 3p, 
and for example here consider the formation of methane as we know the return equation of carbon will be and then here you have so we need four bonds we have only two unpaired electrons as I explained in the previous video so this is ground state ground state and excited state the return configuration can be seen as two electrons one electron one electron one electron one electron excited state and here you may mix these two orbitals if you mix them you will get this orbital and then this is sp3 hybridized orbital and here we have hydrogen 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 and another hydrogen here making bond with the hybridized orbitals in carbon so the bond angle again decreases here so as you can see that each of the sp3 hybridized orbital you can see in this information here each of the sp3 hybridized orbital can overlap with an paired 1s orbital of hydrogen thus forming four sigma bonds and the bond here, the shape here is tetrahedral. This was trigonal planar. And the shape here in, in sp3 is the tetrahedral. So sometimes they ask you about the shape of the molecules. And one thing that you should know in shape of the molecule is first the type of hybridization used in the, in the formation of those molecules. So... This is tetrahedral, and I can't draw it well, but it is seen as carbon hydrogen, 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 and then I can't draw it properly, but it is tetrahedral, mm, tetrahedral. Anyway, we shall see later on the shapes, and the bond angle decreases to 109 degree. Then in, in sp3d we are we are joining the six orbitals and here the central atom has more than eight valence electrons so sometimes this occur in metals and sometimes in nanometers but you should know that the central atom should have more than eight valence electron. So, for example, consider the formation of phosphorus chloride, phosphorus pentachloride. The electronic progression appears like this. We have neon, and then we have neon, and then we have two electrons, and then we have the three electrons. And then we have an empty D orbit. So saying this 3s, 3p, and this 3d. If we want five unpaired electrons, means we should excite this electron to that. This is ground state, and then in the excited state, it appears. Then these electrons. then these the electron will be there so we are mixing all of these orbitals in hybridization stage to get one two three four five this is not present and then we are remaining with four d orbitals which are unhybridized so these five orbitals they are the one which are used in bonding the chlorines in phosphorus pentachloride and also the shape of the molecule here changes it becomes trigonal bipyramidal it 
becomes trigonal by pyramidal as we shall see later but uh, simply trigonal by pyramidal appears like phosphorus then like this choline 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 oh trigonal by pyramidal okay this fails because only for, for only only four columns, but there is a way of drawing this trigon by pyramid. I've just forgotten it, so we shall see later. On um, the Bondiango is between 90 and 120. Now the last type of hybridization hybridization is the SP three D2 hybridization. Also, this hybridization involves d orbitals to give expanded octet molecule. And here we are using sulfur fluoride to explain this. And as we explained previously in other molecules, the formula for deformation on the ground, the excited and the other things remain the same. And the shape of this molecule is octahedral. So one thing that you should know here is that if you are given an element, if you are given a molecule, then you ask about the type of hybridization. The first thing to know is that how many valence electrons that, that atom has, then how many empty orbitals are required? How many empty orbitals are required in order now? For you to 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 bond a number of atoms. Nakupa mfano, ukiangali self, electronic fugation yake kuchola, nje na kwa ina empty, empty obitu mbi. Wakati yu inaitaji bondi kapi wapi hili bondi na uyapi, inaitaji bondi sita. Kwa kuitaji bondi sita wakati nje na bondi mbili manaki uni uchawi. Lazima u, u excite electron yu kupereke uku, afu mix. Kwa well, that is very easy na tenda tu kuona kwenye tenda tu kuona kwenye kwenye namna mbalimbali za maswali kwa mbele namna mbalimbali za maswali kwa mbele ili tuweze kwenda kwa pamoja na kuelewana juu kile ambacho tunakifanya e, kuna vitu vya kunoti hapo mwishoni na Katika hivi, hatu angalie, hatu angalie tu wapa note, some element cannot expand the year octet due to the lack of empty dio between the year in their valence shell. Mfano nitrogen, nitrogen yu wapato ki mu expand hapo hawezi, hana dio bitu kwa uwezi kwa uka muungeza elektroni kwa haka jampu kwenda huku, lakini pia oxygen hana dio bitu. Kwa hybridized state inaonekana kama hivi au hapa inaonekana kama hivi hybridized state sio zote zinakuwa unpaired lakini pia not atoms such as oxygen nitrogen cannot excite their electron to higher energy orbital like other atoms because they have no empty orbitals in their valence shell also hybridization in atom like oxygen nitrogen occur without excitation of electron it occur only by mixing orbitals so we discussed this fact earlier that sometimes hybridization do not involve excitation of electron. So in the next period we shall discuss about hybridization in molecules and this is very important. Hybridization in molecules. What we discussed above is hybridization of atom but not of molecules. This is also important and most of teachers they they prefer to ask this, the hybridization of a certain atom in a certain molecule. Have nice studies and tell your friends to subscribe the channel and share these videos to your friends so that you can, you can share the knowledge together and perform well in your exams. Thank you.